Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 36 and this is the channel Fluke Fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Today what we're going to be talking about is the insulated hand tools from Fluke and well as we go through them uh, I'll kind of show you what I've heard and what I've seen in the field and some tips and tricks and kind of what you can do and I'll have a link in the description below for all the other things. One thing I was going to say is if you guys are interested in me ever doing a live chat during the day and you guys asking questions and me trying to answer as quick as I can, I'm happy to do that, but leave those in the comments below. If you think there is interest in that, um, I would consider it, but if there's not, then I'll just keep making videos like this. So here we go. The new, new-ish in the last year or so are insulated hand tools from Fluke. And if you see these set of pliers, these pump pliers, You'll notice they look a lot like Nipix pliers. And as you can imagine, uh, Fluke doesn't have their own factory for pumping out hand tools. So Fluke has contracted with the same people that make them for Nipix, um, which, you know, I, I can appreciate that. I, you know, these companies are all wanting to use their, their good name to get out and have more and more products. Um, my problem is with when good companies label put their names on bad products and I, I'm pleased to say that these are really good products so I'm happy that Fluke put their name on them you know um, but let's talk through it a little bit so pump pliers if you're not familiar with their, these they're kind of like crescent pliers except instead of having like three or five different levels you've got I don't know like 20 different teeth and you can see you can slide it up even in the closed position so you could have something in there that you want to fit and you just slide it till you get close and then you'll know how tight it would need to be. So you can release it or slide it up and clamp it at any point. Um, they're angled really nice. I don't know if you can tell this, but these are angled. Let me see if I can get it. These are angled like where the teeth are grabbing that direction. And these are the opposite. The teeth are pointing this way. It really allows you to get a really strong grip. Um, they are great, a great set of tools to have or have around. And here's your part number for those. In INPP10. So those are the pump pliers. And then we've got several different screwdrivers. We'll get into that. The, the screwdrivers, the square screwdrivers, I think the only kit that comes with these, you can buy all of these individually. So like, here's the individual part number. Or I think you get the square tip screwdrivers in the screwdriver kit, but you don't get them in some of the screwdriver plier kits. So there's the number two square. And then this is number one square. One thing you'll notice with all of the um, all of the screwdrivers is the handles are squishy. I don't know if I can get that on camera well, but you can see it kind of flexes in. This allows you to get a better grip and a little bit more torque. The handle, it's really, really good design. Another thing people like is insulated hand tools. A lot of them have pretty big protruding um, plastic when the insulation starts it comes out from the metal quite a bit whereas these are almost completely smooth and as you get to the bigger ones they really are completely smooth this one has a slight dimple but not much when we get into the um, Phillips head and the flat heads, you'll see it better okay so th this what I'm unzipping right now this kit this case does not come uh, with a kit but it's an added accessory and I recommend you 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 get this case the cool thing about this case is uh, I had a, a magnet stuck to it or a, not a magnet a battery but these have the the two t-pack magnets so let me kind of give you an up close shot down here so you get these and you can uh, hang this up fully loaded with all these tools and it will hang uh, I'll show you that later either in a picture or at the end of the video um, so once you get into this, you can buy this kit was in here and it's going to come in a rolly case like this. And I will link that in the description below so it'll have like a rolly case like this. And you'll have three flat heads that are different sizes, two Phillips, and then you get your um, 
cutters, your wire cutters, pliers, and needle nose. So I'll pull them out of this other kit just because I think it's a better kit for organizing and you can hang it. So you got pliers. You can just tell they're well made. They're made in Germany. Um, let's see, made in Germany. So anyways, feel really good in the hand. And kind of all the way down, here's the cutters and what they look like. And then you've got needle nose. Now one question I, I've had myself and others have asked is what about wire strippers? As of right now, Fluke does not have any wire strippers um, in their lineup, but I would imagine that's something they might add in the future. Okay, I already showed you that square one. So this is a flathead. This is great for those folks out there that are doing uh, instrumentation and controls. You can see it really tight, gets into tight spots. And you can see with the small one, it does somewhat protrude out. Whereas this larger one is completely flush. So it's really nice um, that you're not gonna catch with the larger ones. Now, obviously with the smallest ones, we Fluke does still need to have some insulation. So that's why it protrudes out. But this can get into any terminal block and it, it's, it is really nice. Um, and gives you a much bigger handle and grip than typical uh, flatheads that have such a small um, flathead. So you can see that's like a number two flathead compared to whatever this one's called. Uh, I guess it's a 332nd versus a quarter inch. Okay, and you can see that the flex there. Okay, so Phillips and um, flatheads, more sizes different ones. I will link in the description below the different, the various kits that you can buy this, as well as the part numbers for buying them individually. Somebody asked me to go over these, so I wanted to make sure we brought awareness to them, that they do exist. You can get these from any of your local uh, Fluke distributors. And uh, yeah, a lot of distributors are stocking these things, so you can get them pretty readily. Well, I hope this was a good video for you. You kind of understand a little bit of what Fluke has to offer in the insulated hand tool selection. Uh, you, you can see that it's probably going to grow in the future, but it's a good starting point for Fluke and the tools really are nice in the hand and they just, they feel good to work around, uh, work with. So I hope you guys enjoy it and go pick up some of these if you think, think they're worthwhile. Thanks and don't forget to comment in the section below. Also subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and have a great weekend. Take care.